MovieWeb.com. When I was much younger, I thought that I would be married, I'd have kids, you know, by the time I was 30. You need to go on a date, duty dating, for practice. That is the saddest thing I think I've ever heard. I think that you're a really good actor. Yeah, I'm so glad I met you. I think you're totally refreshing. What is wrong with me? If there's nothing wrong with you, know, you just go out with the wrong people. I could fix you up. No. Pretty funny that our moms set us up. You don't know the irony behind it. You have had some very nice boyfriends. But that was college. Have any of you ever done anything as crazy or as desperate as flying to Paris, France, to meet somebody or connect? Recently? Could be worse. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I think that's fun to fly to go meet somebody. That's like, I don't know. Babe, have you ever done something like that? Um, no, I just write about it. <laughs> Uh, no, I've never done anything that crazy, although it wouldn't be hard to get me on a plane to go somewhere kind of fun like that. But when you're looking at this character as an outsider, do you feel that it is a desperate act on her part? She's in a desperate place, that's for sure. Um, but the reason why she goes to Paris is it's a dialogue she's having with herself. She doesn't have her own life. She feels like her life has been all about her work. So this kind of gesture, gesture is more about empowering herself and getting out of town, and she's never even been out of the country. So it's like these, you know, this guy came into her life to kind of help her do that, and we don't know if, if they're gonna end up together or not. Do you think she's aware of her unapproachability sometimes? Yes. Her own? Is she her aware? Character. I think she feels really uncomfortable in her own skin. She's mm -hmm. in a place in her life where she feels really uncomfortable in her own skin. And uh, it's, it's that kind of thing where you feel bad and you try to do something it doesn't work and you try to do something it doesn't work and you, mm -hmm. it's just like a big you know, snowball effect of feeling really bad about yourself and nothing you do makes yourself feel better and sometimes you have to do something drastic to change all of that. Okay, well you have a huge fan base, especially on the internet. I'm wondering, did you make this film just to frustrate the lonely guys out there who are going to watch this and go, I could be me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, uh, um, yes, I did. That's why I made the movie. Um, uh, uh, Where's your question? <laughs> It's just like you made this movie because you knew guys, there's like a ton of guys that are going to sit there and just think, oh, this, this could be my chance. But mm -hmm. can't differentiate between you and your character. You didn't even oh, think of that's not together. true. You didn't even think of the perks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Gosh, well, we'll see, won't we? See what happens. You never know. Well, I'm, I'm wondering kind of a little bit, did, did you write this like that she kind of thrives on being lonely a little bit? Like she actually likes it, but she doesn't know she likes it? No, I don't think so. I think it's, um, I, I think she's probably been happier in her life. And, you know, sometimes you go through, you know, especially when you get into your mid-30s and you're trying, you know, <coughs> you realize for the first time in your life that you're an adult and you have to do all these things as an adult and no one's going to be there to kind of pick up the pieces. It's a very scattering time in your life, and I think she, it's just, you know, I always think it's like, it's just a moment in her life where she's not doing very well. I think before she probably has had maybe not as severe moments, but something like that, and she probably will have different moments again, you know, being happy and, and hopefully yeah, not she, as depressed as She well. has abandonment issues. She lost her father. She's um, terrified that if she loves someone and or if someone loves her, that she'll lose them as well. and. It's um, some people in relationships, you know, in, and in love relationships, there's all sorts of, we don't know where the courage comes from, but there are all sorts of obstacles that we overcome, those like wounds. So she's wounded in a way that, that everyone kind of sees and looks at. I don't think she enjoys her loneliness, but I think that loneliness is not a bad thing to overcome and, and to kind of go through to get out the other side. I think that's part of um, um, becoming an adult. You know, and that's what I, that's one of the, the major things I like about the movie because I feel like we don't see that enough in, uh, it's something everyone goes through, but it's something that's, we don't really see being executed in, in films and scenes, so.
And it's funny. I mean, it's not, you know, you know, we talk about this, but it's, um, you know, everyone feels lonely and everyone has different degrees of, of heartbreak and, and, and different degrees even. in which they torture themselves. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's not, a, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing, you know, it's not to be like, you know what I mean? So. But in, in the party at the beginning of the movie, we see uh, Drea and Mateo's <laughs> fiance double fisting. Is that your like not so subtle hint that that's what it takes to make it through five years of marriage? Um, no, that actually drives me crazy that he does that in the movie. But you know, I didn't, you know, he, he, he really had an idea of what he wanted to do, and which was to take two glasses and do that for himself. So I think he, I think really, what he was doing was he was really drinking wine, but he had a glass of champagne for the toast. So I don't think he was really double fisting. I think he's, you know, and he's another character that's in denial about what's happening in his relationship, but doesn't want to feel the pain. So he kind of uh, glosses over everything. And she's, and you know, Dre's character is is not happy, and she doesn't want to gloss over everything. So they're at like a crossroads too. Okay. Well, that's it. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks. What are you doing in Paris? Just looking. Are all French guys like this? Like what? Passionate, interested, the kind of like dogs, too? No, no, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No, no, no. Some people want magic. I think you are one of those people.